اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم How to assess construct reliability using Smart PLS 4? The first step in reflective measurement model assessment that is your measurement model assessment we are going to talk about what is reflective, what is formative but a little later. For now this is a reflective model because the arrows are pointing towards the indicator. This is a reflective construct as well because the arrows are pointing towards the indicators. But later we are going to discuss what is formative measure. The first step in reflective measurement model assessment involves examining how much each indicator's variance is explained by its construct, which is indicative of indicator reliability. So how much variance in each of your indicator is explained by your latent construct. And this shows you the indicator reliability. Now to compute an indicator's explained variance, we need to square off the loadings that we saw in earlier videos as well. And that loading is actually the bivariate correlation between the indicator and the construct. As such, the indicator reliability indicates communality of an indicator. So indicator loadings above 0.708 are recommended since they indicate that the construct explains more than 50% of the indicator's variance, thus providing acceptable indicator reliability. In summary, if your indicator loading is 0.708 or over 0.708, this would mean that 50% of the indicator's variance is explained by the construct. And this will show indicator reliability or acceptable indicator reliability. Moving on. So how do we improve indicator reliability if it is less than the threshold value? Now researchers frequently obtain weaker indicator loading that is less than 0.708 for their measurement models in social sciences studies, especially when newly developed skills are used. Rather than automatically eliminating indicators when their loading is less than 0.70, researchers should carefully examine the effects of indicator removal on their reliability and validity measures. And this is what we have discussed in earlier sessions as well. Generally, indicators with loadings between 0.40 to 0.708 shall be considered for removal only when deleting the indicator leads to an increase in internal consistency reliability or convergent validity and this is to be discussed in future sections as well. Now another consideration in the decision whether to delete an item or not is the content validity. Now if it is affecting the content validity then you have to be very cautious in removing the item. As a consequence indicators with lower loadings are sometimes retained. Indicators with very low loadings that is less than 0.40 should however always be eliminated from the measurement model. Now how do we assess indicator reliability? We need to estimate the relationship between reflectively measured constructs and their indicators. All indicators loadings of the reflectively measured constructs are well above the threshold value or shall be above the threshold value 0.708 which suggests sufficient level of indicator reliability. Variance is explained by taking square of the loadings, indicating indicator reliability if it's over 0 0.50. Now let's have a look at our model. Now let's calculate PLS algorithm. All over 0 0.708, over 0 0.708, no issue of indicator reliability. Now to know more about reliability, you can refer to this text. Thank you very much.